Two cosmonauts in a Russian spaceship riding their rocket toward a rendezvous. And three astronauts in a U.S. spaceship on their way to join them. From CBS News headquarters at the Kennedy Space Center, this is the CBS Evening News with Walter Cronkite and Roger Mudd in the CBS Newsroom in New York. Good evening. Five spacemen are orbiting the Earth tonight, heading toward that Soviet-American meeting in space. Two countdowns, 10,000 miles apart, sent the Soviet Soyuz and the American Apollo flawlessly into orbit for their historic rendezvous on Thursday two days of working together in space. The Russians got the joint mission off to a perfect start. And for the first time, let the world and their own people watch. Cosmonauts Alexei Leonov and Valery Kubasov, both space veterans, appeared relaxed and ready as they put on their space suits and went to their waiting Soyuz. The Soviet openness for this international venture extended even to their new mission control center at Moscow. TV scene from there was not unlike that shown so often from Houston. The Soyuz got off precisely as scheduled at 8.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and here's how Soviet control described it with Houston translated. The plane hours 20 minutes 10 seconds. The flight is proceeding normally. The program maneuver of the booster rocket has been given 20 minutes into flight. The flight is normal. The engine is operating in a stable manner. President Ford himself emphasized the international implications, the detente of this mission. He invited Soviet Ambassador Dobrynin to watch the Soyuz launch with him on a large screen in the State Department auditorium. The president said he'd sent all five spacemen a message saying they are blazing a brand new trail of international space cooperation. Never before have representatives of two countries lived and worked together in space. They have a wonderful and unique opportunity as a result. This space mission also demonstrates that the United States and the Soviet Union are prepared to cooperate in a common endeavor of great significance, importance, and complexity. Here at the Kennedy Space Center, the American astronauts Tom Stafford, Deke Slayton, and Vance Brand were asleep when Soyuz went up. They awoke about two hours later and watched a videotape of the event as they ate the traditional pre-launch breakfast of steak and eggs. They sent the cosmonauts congratulations on a great launch and then prepared for their own. Like the cosmonauts seven and a half hours earlier, the astronauts entered their spacecraft about three hours ahead of launch time. This last scheduled U.S. space shot for four or five years attracted the usual thousands of watchers to the central Florida coast. Among them were hundreds and hundreds of invited guests. Soviet Ambassador Dobrynin gave further emphasis to the detente of the mission when after watching the Soyuz launch with President Ford in Washington, he flew here to watch Apollo go up. About 10 minutes after liftoff, Apollo went into orbit and began a two-day chase of Soyuz through the skies to run. Right now, the mission is going well. Both spacecraft are in their orbits and no serious trouble reported. This is Walter Cronkite, CBS News, from the Kennedy Space Center.